me bon professional super belts hoy hey 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 ho hey hey there how there ho there it's jeff again this video is going to be about a professional sumo belt. What it takes place in this professional sumo belt. Okay, so basically this is what I'm going to... So basically I'm just reading off what they mean by a professional sumo belt. Two sumos will charge each other. Will charge at each other. So both wrestlers will jump up from the couch simultaneously after touching the surface of the ring with two fists and start the belt. They have to simultaneously touch. They cannot. Um, uh, what the hell? I'll give you a physical description here. Alright, so here's how you go. Sumos are going to be like this. Okay, crouch. So they're going to be crouching. Now, what? Now, I know you can't see the fist, but the fist will be on the ground like this. And you're supposed to spring. Lift the fist, spring up, and or grab like that. Um, it must be simultaneous. Upon completion of the belt, the referee points his war fan towards the winning wrestler, left or right. And she pan and our judges may may ruin the referee's decision. So it can be disputed, and it will be called a mono e. For some reason, I called it a moto e back in the day. So anyway, um, after reaching consensus, they can order a rematch called Torina Hoshi. The wrestlers will return to straight position and then bow to each other. And a, a, a winning wrestler in the top division may receive additional price money in envelopes if the matchup has been sponsored. Ah, so it doesn't. If you beat a sumo, you can get sponsorship. If a Yokozuna is defeated by the lower rank wrestler, it's common and expected for audience members to throw their cushions into the ring. It's technically prohibited for some reason. So anyway, um, bouts are typically very short, blah, blah, blah. Extremely rarely a bout can go on for many minutes up to four minutes, in which case the referee may call a misu iri or water break. The wrestlers are carefully separated, have a break, and then they return to the exact position. It is the referee's responsibility to reposition the wrestlers. If, after four minutes, they are still deadlocked, they may have a second break, and they have to start from the very beginning. A draw is rare, very rare, so basically, the last draw in the top division was 1974. Um, so you see how about is, um, I am going to upload a, um, match and then I will be um, using my microphone to um, basically clue you in on the match and all that. I might do picture and picture if I can. Alright, I'll be working on that project and then I'll get back to you as fast as possible. Um, the next um, video will be called Life as a Professional Soul Wrestler. I'll be talking about how sumos have to live by strict rules and of course controversies and the top 10 yokozuna coming up later on today all right so there's konishiki um in the ring bowing towards his opponent getting ready for a uh, ritual you'll see them stomp the ground with their feet you see the gojin or the referee briefly in the center of the ring um he's just giving the names of the sumo wrestlers he points to the left for Konishiki and to the right for Kotio Suma. The sumo wrestlers, of course, they get salt water. Um, Kotio Suma on your right. Notice he has salt in his hand, so he will um, throw salt in the ring. Um, so they both have salt in the ring. Konishiki, they put it on the um, doyle to purify themselves. They slap themselves in the stomach with the belt their bellies. Konishiki, now this is from a European thing, so these, he was 31 at the time, and they use a different type. 284 kilograms, that's at least 568, that's about 624, I think? 
And then Kote Asuma, um, what you'll notice is that sumo wrestlers are wear, wear like top knot, like a certain knot on their hair. They don't let all their hair flow down, of course, because sumos might um, grab hair. Of course, they're doing the stomping tradition. Um, very key here in sumo wrestling of how do you do it. Um, but anyway, um, see the two sumos, east and west. Now, what they usually go Nishi West, that means West, when they introduce people first. So Kotonosuma would have been on the left. But this is an exhibition match. So anyway, the sumos are just getting ready, psyching themselves up. Um, they'll have the fist on the ground, or they're just trying to psych each other out. Um, a lot of people are probably thinking why they wear um, the... Um, like the way the mawashi and all that does it cover all your um, private parts and yes it kind of does there's a there's a part of the front by Konishiki you'll see of course um, if any part of a sumo wrestler's testicles or penis um, shell they have to stop the match because that's decent so they're doing their um, warm up technique um, now they're be Facing each other off. Nope, they're going. They're just psyching each other out. Um, this is pretty much a psych out. Konishki is one of my favorite wrestlers. He'll be in the top ten wrestlers I adore. Not necessarily like a top ten. It's my top ten. He won't be in top ten Yokozuna because he never reached Yokozuna. Um, Konishki won three bashos in his career or top division titles. He nearly had a chance to get Yokozuna, but. He actually complained, supposedly, that he cannot get promotion into the Yokozuna because he was a foreigner. He's from Hawaii. But then the next year, oh, here we go. They're slapping each other. They're trying to beat each other up. And look at, uh, oh, Konishiki. Sometimes heavier wrestlers fall flat on their stomachs because um, they lose their balance. Konishiki was a pretty good wrestler at one time, um, but... He pretty much gained too much weight and it became a burden on his knees. Koti Osuma is the winner. You see right there. And because this is an exhibition, they don't get any um, actual money. Um, you'll see the replay here and Konishiki, yeah. Um, there will be another bout I will do um, commentary on. You'll see a slimmer Konishiki gets one of the legends, and we'll talk about like how their sumo wrestling is, all that. Okay, so this is another proper um, sumo belt. Um, you'll see more of the tradition and all that than the first video, which was an exhibition. Um, so you see the sumos just practicing their technique, like their um, rituals, bopping with the feet. There's Konishiki on your right, in the blue Mawashi, slowed down from the, well this is 1980s, about 88 I think, and the referee is doing all that. I know I should have just, um, said something about um, the actual introductions and all that. Um, one, of the, so one of the belts I'll probably put in the link to you'll hear how they do it. So there's Konishiki. Um, on your left, that's Chiyona Fuji, one of the greatest uh, Yokozuna of all time. Um, at one time, he had, well, he stood second at one time. You see the Japanese characters, like that, both by the name, like how the name, and on the right hand side, you'll see the records and all that. Um, Chiyona Fuji has the zero on it. I do believe that means that he's undefeated. Konishiki has two marks as a plus minus and two, two minus marks. That's two, so he's lost two and I think that the cross is for four or something like that. I don't know. No, sorry, the T is for five. I'll show you a sumo video game. I'm going to do a sumo... I'm going to show you a sumo video game thing that will prove to you. So anyway, um, the you see some stagehands sweeping away the salt because you don't want the salt interfering with the the, the feet of the two sumo wrestlers. Konishiki, about 550 pounds in this um, video. Kind of the bolt of Konishiki, um, Chiyona Fuji. Um, 
So Konuchiki, part of a Hawaiian compatriot, um, took her in Yama in 1981, recruited Konishiki from Hawaii to be a Samoa uh, Konishiki came in, in one, Akiboro came a few years later, and Yusashi Maru came a few years later. Um, so basically, um, yeah, so, so they were complaining about the foreign born um, policy with Samoa because it was a pretty much an all Japanese sport. Um, now now you can see Mongolians actually fight each other too for now. Chimura uh, Fuji. He doesn't look fairly heavy, but he's pretty much strong. He's got a lot of muscles in his body. Seems like he's a small Yokozuna. I think he was like 300 pounds at, or 250 as it had his heaviest. Um, so anyway, um, we'll go through a lot of stuff, of course, throwing the salt and all that. There are, not, there are different styles of how you um, wrestle. Um, some have the normal grip of the opponent's mawashi or the bell to try to force him out. And some will be like Konishiki. In this video, you see Konishiki having a technique that's kind of copied by some sumos, but Akibono has that pretty much, I've pretty much called the Akibono technique because Akibono usually means his height is big so yeah, they'll take a coat, they'll take a, they'll rinse their mouths out with uh, salt water, the tell it all, all the, so basically they're just trying to set each other out, uh, Kumi, Kiyana Fuji, 31 Basho victories, um, no, sorry, yeah, that's right, Taiko with 32 and half of Kiyana has 32, so do it. Um, oh, oh, they didn't simultaneously touch. Fiona Fuji jumped the gun. You have to go simultaneously on this. So, here we go. Konishiki and Fiona Fuji. Um, Alright. Here we go. There's Konishiki with the slapping technique. She wanna Fuji back up, back up, uh, dear, and good. Oops, he stepped out. She wanna Fuji stepped out. Konishiki wins the match. So Chiyona Fuji try as he might to fumble it. And Konishiki wins. We'll see a replay. Oh, uh, Konishiki's win. Of course, he, he gets the um, chopping motion with his um, hand that's pretty much symbolic, and then he gets some envelopes. And then at times, um, symbols don't always ha leave um, the guy in the fan, he's going to be announcing the match. So the next match will be, um, so there is another match. Some symbols will leave and go to the locker room. Some symbols will stick around to see, maybe discover a future opponent or a summon from their stable or a heya. So you see Akibono with the push slap technique forces me. Chiyona Fuji, Chiyona Fuji tries to step out of the way, but he steps out over the line. Konishiki is ready to bump him, but Chiyona Fuji um, went over the line. You'll see it one more time. Chiyona Fuji on your left, the initial charge and all that. That's pretty huge. The two trucks slamming into each other. Konishiki puts up a slamming technique. Chiyona Fuji on the defense. Chiyona Fuji has had a major league uh, winning streak. Um, uh, that's going to be one of the links I'm going to post on YouTube of um, basically how good, how dominant some sumos are. Um, there's another Yokozuna with a long winning streak that the video is on YouTube and his name is Taiho the Sec. The now second most, has the second most of um, titles or battled by a sumo wrestler Hakuho recently, last month, got his 33rd uh, tournament win. That means he's in first place. Um, we'll know more into details of these tournaments and all that. And now they've got a kill to Umi and Hiroseki against one of the Yokozuna. I can't remember who he is. But anyway, that's the end of that match. So basically, that's just to see how sumo wrestling is. Um, they're Hasn't been really much change in the way um, sumo wrestlers um, are and all that. So those two videos should be helping you out and all that.